Hey YouTubers. So I'm going to do a video over that I previously did. I, I used the mic built into my laptop and sometimes you get a good microphone in your laptops and sometimes you don't. I've got a really nice Intel i7 processor but they skimped on the uh, on the mic. So now that I'm home I'm going to use my Shure SM58 and uh, nice thing about this, usually you don't get mic pops and it's going to sound better. So, all right. So in this video, we are going to revolve text. And I didn't really find anybody that had done this on YouTube. So hopefully this is the only video up there and I get thousands and thousands of views. Relatively easy to do uh, if you understand revolving, but uh, you know, still can be quite difficult for some uh, text. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we need a, an axis, and We want to use the Y axis going up and down, so um, I'm going to select that one in a second. But uh, first thing we're going to do is click on Revolve. Um, so we could start with Start 2D Sketch as well, but uh, old habits. All right, so I clicked on the XY plane. And from here, you're going to click on text. And we can put the text anywhere we want to. Um, notice where I click at in relationship to how the letters come in. So we're just going to do um, type in inventor. Oops. If I can spell it. And I'm going to pick a different font because this one's kind of boring. So you notice I have a crap load of fonts in here. If you go to uh, defont.com, you can get tons of different fonts and some really cool ones. I'm going to bold it. Then we'll make it a little bit bigger. So a lot of the stuff I like to bring into... Um, another software package that I use called uh, HitFilm Pro. All right, so we've got that. And you see basically the upper left corner of the text box almost lined up with uh, this plane here. And we have our axes in there, so I'm going to exit the sketch by clicking finish. And once again, I got to click on revolve. I want to click in the revolve menu, axes. Then I'm going to go over to my tree and select the Y axes, um, which will highlight. So you see it there on the screen. And I've selected that. Now we need to select the um, text that we're going to revolve. So I select that. And you see on the revolve menu extents, it's set to full. We don't want full. We want to do some angle. Let's say five degrees. Let's see what that looks like. It's not doing a whole lot. Let's go with 15. Then I'm going to click Symmetric and OK. And there you have it. So we rotate this. We have a pretty cool Revolve text that you can use in your, um, in your videos. If you're like me using HitFill Pro and you like to make really cool uh, graphics and stuff, 
there's a limit to what uh, HitFilm Pro can do for extruded text, and it's definitely you make some cooler stuff inside of uh, Inventor and drag it in there. From here, I would basically go. Um, I could assign it some properties, but I'll add some texturing inside uh, HitFilm Pro. So I'm going to go to export, and I'm going to output it as a OBJ. And we'll call this Inventor. Revolved. And there you go. So that is basically about all for this lesson. Um, please like, please subscribe. I um, have at least 15 years of mechanical design. Uh, a lot of that was uh, AutoCAD, Pro-E, SolidWorks, Ideas, some Inventor, and uh, there's at least one more in there that I cannot remember at the moment. Mechanical Desktop. But uh, we'll be doing a lot more lessons and hopefully if you guys have questions about things you want to see hopefully i'll be able to answer them and thank you